Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Welcome to the next video of R Programming Language. In this video, I'll be talking about the apply family of functions. So for this uh, particular video, I'll be taking few examples of each category of the function and, and I'll be explaining each and every function one by one. So for this video, I've already have prepared one notepad file. You can see it here. So let's get started with the apply family of functions in R programming language. So what is apply family of function and why it is so important? The apply family of functions can act like a substitute or alternative to the looping statements. We already know what is loops. I already have covered that loops part in my one of my video. So in case if you haven't watched it, I'll put up a link of looping, uh, looping statement video in the description box. So what is the uh, use of this, right? The apply family of functions act like an alternative. So much, you must be wondering that if you have a regular loops available, why we have to go with the apply family or what's the benefit of using apply family? There are two benefits I have listed here. First of all, it is uh, much more efficient and faster in execution than the traditional loops. It has been proven that uh, like the uh, loops take more time in giving the results than the apply family apply family give you the quick results and second point is uh, another very uh, important point it is very easy to follow the syntax the syntax is very easy it's very user friendly you have to write very lesser uh, piece of code for apply family this, this is the reason why we are going with the apply family of functions there are multiple members of apply family uh, which i have listed here apply itself l apply s apply t apply and m apply so let's get started. First of all, let's see what's the syntax of apply itself. The first, first very first function available under the family is apply itself. The apply has this syntax x comma margin comma fun. Then we have we can have a simplify equal to true. So the the, the major three uh, we always use the major three the first three x comma margin comma fun only. Here x stands the input data object. The data object means it can be any data structure, right? Uh, which is listed here. It can be matrix, array, or data frame, right? The vector is not the uh, not applicable to this apply uh, as a function. So the uh, x means any uh, data structure. Margin means how the function is applicable. Means whether it will be row wise calculation or a column wise calculation. If you have specifying one, it will be row wise calculation. If you are specifying two, it will be the column wise calculation. And then last is fun. Fun means a function. It can be inbuilt function of R or it can be a user defined function of R. So here I have listed here based upon the inputs, the output may vary. Right, it may the if the let's suppose if the data is in the form of uh, matrix, the output can be in the form of vector, matrix, array, or list based upon the given uh, problem statement. Right, so let's see uh, how we can uh, make use of it. I'm using a simple example in which I'm gonna take the x as matrix. So I've already have opened up the R console here. Let's uh, see with the start with the M1. So M1 is my matrix, regular matrix. You can see it here, in which number of rows are three. Now let's apply the apply function on it. Uh, for this, I'm going to calculate the mean, right? Fun will be mean, margin will be one, m1 will be, so the uh, the uh, x will be the matrix. If it's one, it means it will be row wise calculation. It means it will be giving you the mean row wise. This is a meaning, right? If you can print the result, it will be the four, five, six. And if you try to print the class of result, let's see what is in which form it, the result has been shown. It is in the form of numeric, right? This is the point. Now, this is uh, we are done with the simple apply. Then we have a L apply. L apply meaning is list apply. L means list here. So L uh, deal with the list and data frame in the input. You can see it here based upon the input output will be always the list. If it's a vector list or data frame, the output will always be in the form of list. Uh, in this case, another difference you will find it here like uh, the uh, there will be no margin argument available because the specified function is applicable only through the columns. So for this, I'm using this, this example, I'm going to take vector as an input. It's a rating vector. Let's now let's see it here how it works. I got a ratings vector available. Okay, this is done. And now let's see how we can make use of L apply in which there's no margin available straight away. We are going with the mean. So here we are expecting the result will be in the form of list as per the documentation guide. So here I'm printing the list, uh, this result. Let's see what the result we got. It is the, this is the list, right? You can see it here from the uh, representation itself. It is clear that it's a list. Again, we can prove this with the help of class function. If I'm just uh, going with the uh, result, a class of result, it will be definitely will be the list, right? This is the meaning of L apply. And this has been proven that output will be in the form of list. Then we have a, uh, then here we can compare uh, what's the difference between apply and L apply. L apply always return a list and apply can return a vector list matrix or array. There is no scope of margin in the L apply, which was there in the regular apply. 
Next one is called S apply. S apply is a simplified version or form of the L apply. It has got additional arguments simplify with the default value as true. If the simplify is equal to false, then S apply will return a list similar to L apply. Otherwise, it will return the simplest output form possible. It means based upon the uh, argument that you, that you are specifying in the simplify, the result may change. the The representation, the uh, the way of represent, re, re, representing the data will it will be changed, right? So if it's a input, it will be a vector or list or data frame. And based upon the input data and based upon your simplify option, the output may vary. It may be in a vector matrix array or list let's apply uh, this s apply on the ratings right so this is the regular uh, simple example of this one so here i'm using the ratings and mean let's see let's print the result of this whatever we got it's this one right now you you can see now uh, the result is has been uh, like although result is same but it is representation is different now uh, if we compare with the l apply so if you can if you can uh, see the class of the result obviously it is looking like a vector still we can prove with the class you can see it is numeric or it's a vector actually it's a it's a vector numeric vector actually so this is the point and now uh, we are going with the uh, another thing here in this case we are going with the simplify equal to false let's see how the result will be changed here uh, we are using additional option if simplify equal to false so here if i can print this result it will be in the form of list as it is proven that like if you are going with the simplify equal to false that it will always return a list right so again uh, we can also uh, go with another option in this case again we can have the ratings available and you can specify some range and the the result can be different it means result representation will be different earlier it was vector it can be a list if you specify simplify equal to false or it may be a matrix based upon the uh, given uh, given situation right this is the meaning of s apply which is the simplified version of l apply so then we have a t apply available t apply is helpful when we are dealing with the categorical variables it applies a function to numeric data distributed across various categories so let's see how we can make use of t apply and the major, major point is it deals with the categorical variables right that we have already have covered uh, in the factor uh, topic right so t apply syntax is column 1 comma column 2 comma fun here column 1 will be numeric column on which function will be applied column 2 will be a factor object and fun will be the function to be performed for that we are having three vectors available let's copy it here salary designation and gender so on this we'll be making uh, we'll be applying the t apply let me clear the screen so let's uh, make use of three vectors here salary designation and gender okay so on this i'm going to apply the uh, t apply function in which first column is salary which is numeric column second designation which is the uh, which one is a factor object third one is a function which is mean let's apply it here t apply this is done now you can go with the result let's see result you can see we got the result of manager programmer senior programmer right this is the meaning of t apply in which we have the categorical variables available last one is m apply function here m stands for multivariate so it applies the specified function to the arguments one by one so in this case function is specified as the first argument in all the previous uh, categories that we have seen apply t apply l apply the argument fun was the last one but in this case fun is coming as a first argument this is the difference we got here so let's uh, make use of this m apply in which we are using the rep or repetition as a function in a very first step okay so we have used this now let's see the result and let's see the class as well last point of this this video you can see it here uh, i got this result right i hope it is very much clear rep is a repetitive function here we are specifying one to four four to one means uh, one will be printing four times two will be printed three times three two and four one times so if you can see the class of it we come to know it is the list right this is the uh, this is this marks the end of this video in which we have made use of the apply family of functions i hope you must have understood the concepts in case something is not clear please feel free to uh, contact me in a comment section right thanks for watching uh, guys see you in next video